Hey, this is Drew from Moon Audio, and welcome to Headphone Happy Hour. This week, we've got new headphones and new beers. Last week, we talked about Sony and Sam Adams. This week, what are we talking about, Zara? <laughs> well, <laughs> that's oh, it's okay. I was going to okay, go with it. Over. Hey, this is Drew from Moon Audio, and welcome to Headphone Happy Hour. Last week, we had Sam Adams and Sony. This week, we've got some new stuff and some new guests. Still have my good friend, Sara, here, but my lovely wife has joined us. What are we going to be talking about today, Nicole? This week, Drew, we're going to be talking about the Stellar Artois and the Focal Stellia headphone. Yeah, it's an obvious pairing because of the similarity in the sound name. Um, some people think that Stella Artois is a French beer and Focal is a French company. Stella Artois is actually a Belgian beer, but I think the Stellia and Stella are still a pretty good pairing. So um, let's let's pour and uh, I'm gonna have a quick taste. Sarah's gonna pour better than she poured last week, and um, I'm gonna give you the honors, Drew. Love these gorgeous headphones. So I know um, people always, or you, often talk about the Stelia as a closed back version of the Focal Utopia. So how is that? Yeah, so I mean, the, as a lot of people probably already know, the Focal Utopia is one of my all time favorite open back <coughs> headphones. Closed backs, gotta be the Stelia. And essentially the differences between the two are this, the Focal Utopia has a much wider sound stage. The Stelia, much taller. A little more closed in sound because it is a closed back headphone. So it's a little more intimate sounding, if you will. The Utopia is a little, like I said, wider sound stage. So it's a little more, a, a, a realer presentation, if you will. But the sound signature, tonality, coloration are pretty close and dead on. What are the top five genres that you recommend with the Stelia, Drew? Uh, for me, I, you know, I use these with jazz, Americana, um, some blues. Um, really, you can use them for just about anything. Uh, obviously, you, know, you, you don't want to tight cast any kind of headphone into any one genres, but that's where I think it excels. Anything with a lot of instrumentation in it, you know, lots of detail and clarity, nice vocals. You know, it's, it's, it's a very musical headphone. So... I know, you know, the, the Utopia is, you know, more of an analytical headphone and the Stelia as well. And so a lot of times when people think analytical, they think like maybe a, hard, a sharper um, top end, the treble. How's the treble on the Stelia? Well, you know, a lot of people are really afraid of um, beryllium drivers, okay? Beryllium drivers get a bad rap sheet. Uh, ten they tend to be a bit harsh, forward, too bright sounding. Well, I, I think Focal is one of the few manufacturers when it comes to the beryllium drivers, they do an amazing job. They're smooth and sweet. They're not warm and laid back, obviously. They're very detailed, very analytical, but they're smooth on the top end. So you get a musicality without any loss of detail and resolution. So I don't find it a problem at all. How do you compare this to the Clear MG and the Celeste? I know that's the top question here. And I also know the color can be a little <clears throat> Um, different for some people. Some people love it, some people hate it. Um, what's your thought on that? Um, well, first, in reference to the different headphones um, in the lineup, so I find the clears, I really like those for more snap of the finger music, rock and roll, uh, maybe some heavier blues, um, anything with some aggressive guitar, you know, heavy metal. Uh, again, not tight casting it into any particular genres, but that's where I think it excels. The Celesti, um, I, I think they're a little warmer than the Clears, and since they are closed back, they get a, they give a good uh, presentation of SPL, so you get a little good bottom end to it. Not the kind of bottom end I'd say that we got in the Sonys last week, but it's got a good, tight, articulate bottom end. Um, I love the color. You know, I mean, I, I, I love brown leathers. It's got a brown leather, bronze, cups. I think it's a very sexy headphone. I'm a big fan of the color. So. It's kind of the color of beer. It is the, kind of the color of the beer. <laughs> yeah, not this Got one. a nice bronze finish. So stepping outside of the Focal lineup, uh, when people, when customers are considering the Stelia, what other headphones are they often looking at? Um, I'm guessing, you know, I mean, this is a top of the line reference closed back. So they're looking for reference closed backs. Um, I'm trying to think what other headphones 
typically they ask about the Sennheiser 820. The 820 is a little more analytical, a little more detailed, a little more resolute. I mean, I think everybody knows about the Sennheiser 800 series and how it sounds. Um, they may have they have a little bit wider sound stage on the Sennheisers, whereas, like I said, this is a little bit taller than the Utopias, which are wider. Um, but so I'd say that was one of them. Some of the other closed backs, maybe the uh, older Dan Clark closed back uh, Ether headphones. Those may have been a choice because they were very organic, warm, musical sounding. So this is another musical sounding headphone. So that would mm. that, I think those are some of the other headphones that people are looking at. I know in your original review, you called it the closed back utopia. Do you still agree with that? Oh, definitely, definitely. Like I said, I mean, the, there are very small, subtle differences. Wide soundstage versus the tall soundstage, like I said. Same coloration, same characteristics. I mean, you know, if, if you're in an environment where you just can't have an open back because there's either noise around you or, you know, you're bothering somebody next to you, then the Stelly is it. Now, these are semi-sealed in that there is a, a ported design on the back of the drivers and there can be some leakage in and out that you might hear. It's not a headphone I would typically use on an airplane. It doesn't have the best isolation, but in a quiet environment, you know, you, you know a semi-quiet environment, not going to be an issue. So speaking of using them on an airplane or using them um, when you're on the go, um, what's going to power these? I mean, can I use a portable audio player? Can I use my phone? Is it going to be powerful enough? What do you recommend? Yeah, these are, these are very easy to drive, low impedance, higher sensitivity. Anything, anything we sell at Moon Audio will drive them. Very easy to drive. Headphone jack on your computer, your phone, any of the portable DAPs, uh, the dongle DAC, DACs. Um, any, anything's going to drive these. They're just not difficult to drive at all. I know you recommend the Black Dragon. Um, so if you could sort of share why you recommend the Black Dragon and then what maybe Silver and the Blue will do as well. Yeah, so with beryllium, obviously, to keep any kind of shine from ever developing, you know, the Silver Dragon is a very detailed, very clear, resolute, this doesn't need any more of that. Uh, the only time I would ever recommend a Silver Dragon with a Stelia or a Utopia for that matter is let's say you've got a really warm tube headphone amp. Maybe yeah. something with a 2A3, 300B tube that is just excessively warm and you just need to add some shine because maybe those 300B tubes are a little rolled off on the top end. That would pretty much be the only time I would recommend the Silver Dragon. The Black Dragon is really it for me. You know, it's going to it's gonna provide more musicality. It'll smooth, and out, smooth out the top end a little bit without killing any of the resolution. It'll It'll add a fuller presentation with a little more bottom end weight. Um, Blue Dragon, again, it's a copper cable like the Black Dragon. <clears throat> so if you want a little less fullness to the sound, you know, you want to tighten things up a little bit, but without getting closer to the Silver Dragon sort of sound stage uh, and, and detail and resolution, then the Blue Dragon is a great neutral, natural choice for this headphone. Yeah, I know um, I've listened to it only with the Black Dragon. Mm -hmm. um, I've got to try it with the Silver, but i got to say the, the Stelia paired with the Black Dragon is just a phenomenal com combination. I love it. And paired with this beer, not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, um, i got to ask you, because a little while ago you said same coloration as the Utopia, and just to clarify, you were talking about the sound, not the color of the headphones, because right. I think we've got the Utopia yeah, so right we've there. Got the They're Utopias very different here. looking headphones. We have the Utopias here. They're very similar in shape and size and, and, and so forth. There are some differences between the headphones and there is a big cost difference between the two. And the reason behind the cost differences are the carbon fiber yokes that they use are very expensive. The um, connection system, which is a Limo connector, not cheap, neither the female nor the males. So all these things drive up the price a little bit. You know, there's, a, there's probably a few more materials in here. Obviously, I don't have the BOM, the build, bill of materials for the two headphones and why the price is so different. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say the drivers are probably very similar price, but it's the materials that go on around the headphones themselves that justify the different prices. So what y'all think of the beer? Well, I have to say, I mean, I, I do enjoy my beer, and I had never tried Stella Artois before. Um, I usually go for a, for a darker beer, or I've been really into sours, but this is a great, you know, lighter tasting lager. I enjoyed it. What did you guys think? Yeah, I mean, it's very easy going, very much like the Stella headphone mm -hmm. sound. Yeah. Uh, same sort of copper tonality to the color of the beer. Yeah. Uh, very easy on the nose. Not a lot of overabundance of hops or anything. Yeah. Good beer. Yeah, I thought it was a good pairing myself, too. Yeah. I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with us. I hope you've enjoyed hearing more about the Stelia and the Stelia Etois. Um, hopefully we see you next week. We'll have a different pairing.
And if you have any recommendations for headphones or beers or, or any other gear that you'd like for us to talk about, please drop a comment below. We'd love to hear your feedback. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, in addition to our new weekly headphone happy hour, we've got lots of great product reviews, unboxings, and a lot of other great audiophile content. So uh, we hope you join us again, and cheers. Cheers. We'll see you next time.